Ever wondered how some men can reach out to women online? And within a week, they have a date, scoring the best girls out there like it's just another mundane day. Well, you're stuck, and you haven't even gotten to the first stage. Yeah. All right. We're going to talk about this. There are times when we've all been stuck for words and stared at our screens. It's annoying, isn't it? Every text message you send is filled with love and care. But all you get back are scene receipts and one-word comments. You know you're better than this, but you're too self-centered to try to figure out why. Why does this happen over and over? Why are you failing over and over again? Do they not like you because you're not pretty? Is it that you're not interesting? Is it something else? Something that's not obvious to most men? Listen closely. You're the one who is wrong, not them. It's how you act around people. It's the games that you play. This is what you're putting forward. False perception. It's the false attention and validation you crave. But guess what? There is a way to get her attention, keep her interested, and make her want to text you to lay everything out right now. Would you be brave enough to listen? Or would you rather stay where you are, doing the same thing over and over again? Text, ghost, text, repeat. Let's find out who you really are. I'm going to give you five rules. Give me your full attention, because what I'm about to tell you, each and every word is important. Use these rules with good intentions and be a real man. Chapter one, playfulness. Playfulness is one of the most important traits that you can have with a woman because it allows you to move things forward. It allows her to have fun with you. It allows her to see a future with you. The good news is, that playfulness is an attractive quality that is pretty easy to convey over text. It's one of the easier ones to convey over text. So a lot of guys are going to send something very average and boring like, Hey, how's your day going? There's zero personality in that text and zero attractive traits in that text. Now, compare that to this text. Just saw an old couple making out on the street, reminded me of you, made my morning. If you're reaching out with a woman just to stay in touch, and that's what a lot of guys do, is they just want to stay in touch. So they send, hey, how are you? But if you're just reaching out to her, offer her something playful, something that'll make her smile, and keep on thinking about your text so that she associates sort of a better feeling with you. I mean, just imagine, what do you even expect a woman to reply to you with? if you text her like a dry, boring, average geek. So with this text, there's two parts. The first, a description of something funny, and we can all find that, right? Old couple making out. That's more than enough to make her laugh. I'm not saying you use this, but you get the point of being humorous. And that, on its own, doesn't convey personality, but it still puts a smile on her face. And then, the second part, made my morning, is what really expresses personality in this text. That you're playful, that you don't take things too seriously. That's something that she can now associate with you, like this kind of fun, playful guy. Chapter 2, Cool Vulnerability. Cool vulnerability is when you allow yourself to be a little bit real with a girl, but not in a way that would kill the vibe and make things awkward. So we all hear you should be vulnerable, where you go overboard, and you tell her how your last girlfriend cheated on you, and your dad didn't love you, and all that sort of stuff. That is not a cool vulnerability. That'll just creep her out. That's the stuff you should save for your therapist. Because this is where you show that you don't take yourself too seriously, that you're willing to laugh at yourself, so examples of cool vulnerability might be admitting that you like cheesy music, telling a funny yet embarrassing story, and how you never got over it. Kind of like it's where you express a little bit of vulnerability, but in a funny, cool, and controlled manner. Now, picture this. You were hanging out with a woman, and maybe you drank too much. Maybe you did something stupid, and you have this decision to make. Do you apologize, or... Do you ignore it? 
and a lot of guys overly apologize, saying, I'm so sorry I did that last night. And that kind of makes things weird too. But if you ignore it, and she really was offended by what you did, that can also backfire. So you can say something like this. Drunk me was misbehaving last night. When I drink, my demons come out. Sober me gave the demon an ass whooping this morning, and it won't happen again. Now what woman is not going to laugh at that text? But at the same time, you're admitting your mistake and being vulnerable, but in a cool way. This way, things won't get weird with you, and it is something that is attractive in a man. Now let's move on to the next point. Before we continue, if you want to keep receiving dating advice that works in the real world, and if you're tired of these fake dating gurus out here, giving absolutely dog shit advice that never really works, then do consider subscribing to this channel for your own good. You might just learn something new. Chapter 3. Leading the Vibe Now the reason why this is so important is because a man has to always lead the vibe. Always. Because women are extremely boring, and most of them don't know how to hold conversations or really be polarizing while communicating. Being the leader, moving things forward, this is a trait of a masculine high-value man. So I'll show you how to put your own stamp on a sentence that sets the tone and leads the vibe. So this text says, Cancel your plans tonight. I'm preparing you a culinary experience that will rock your world. This mentions a couple of things. Culinary experience is kind of a weird way of phrasing it which in itself expresses a little personality. It could sound corny, except when you add, that will rock your world. It makes it more playful. So at the same time, you're leading the vibe because you're telling her, cancel your plans tonight. That's leading the vibe. But you're infusing personality into it by using phrases like, I'm going to cook for you. Or, you're gonna love that. It is a very distinct personality. And again, all the texts that I'm giving you examples of express personality. It may not be your personality, so you need to figure out how you are going to fit your personality into this. Chapter 4. Expressing Flirtatiousness Flirtatiousness is what really drives intimacy forward. It's what lets you know that you're interested in each other, that there's something romantic, something flirty going on. So being able to introduce that into text is key. The issue that most guys run into is that they do it too obviously, saying boring stuff like, Oh, I had a really good time last night. I can't wait to see you. Guys don't do it at all because they don't know how to do it. So I want to give you an example of how to do it in a way that is push-pull. Flirting is largely push-pull which means you pull her towards you and then you push her away. So this example is, it's stormy. Wish you were here to cuddle under a fluffy blanket and watch the Rocky movie. Now again, very much personality is infused into it, but it's flirty. I wish you were here to cuddle under a fluffy blanket. This is pulling her towards you, but then watch a Rocky movie sort of releases a little bit of the tension. It is kind of playful, but it is a little serious, but it kind of diffuses some of the tension, which is what flirting really is. At the same time, it shows that you have this strong kind of personality, and she can read that and associate it with you. It's not something she's going to get from anybody else, because not all men have the balls to do it. Your personality, playfulness, cool vulnerability, leading the vibe, flirtatiousness, Social proof. Every message you send, you want to think. Does it convey any of this? Am I conveying any playfulness in this? Any flirtatiousness? Am I getting any of that across? You don't have to use all of these in every text. But you should ask yourself, do I have that little bit of edge to my game? That's something you should do all the time. All of this is a new way of talking that you need to really get good at.